Nicole, otherwise known as Mrs. Karma. Today, I will be showing you my six hour smoked rib recipe. But first, let's go back 24 hours. Let's go. So 24 hours before I smoke my ribs, I season them. I use brown sugar, onion powder, black pepper, paprika, garlic powder, cumin, salt, and oil. I do not measure any of my ingredients. I like a nice and bold flavor to my ribs. If you let them sit in the refrigerator overnight, you even get more flavor. This is just my recipe and I am sharing it with you. So first, we're gonna do our brown sugar. Nice heaping amount of brown sugar. Remember, the ribs. A lot of area to cover. Next, onion powder. Like I said, no measurements. Measurements are underrated. Black pepper. Paprika. You can also use smoked paprika. I just didn't have any today, so I'm going with the regular. Garlic powder. Now, if you don't like a lot of garlic powder, don't add a lot of this in. But personally, I love garlic. Cumin. Cumin also helps with the smokiness. And a generous amount of salt. I'm using Himalayan salt. You can use iodized salt if you wish. Stir all this together. Any big clumps you have, try to get out. Um, it does make it a little bit easier when you are seasoning. and fine, just how you want. All right, let's get the ribs. Okay, so we got the seasoning made. Next, you wanna take the membrane off the back of the ribs. So what you wanna do is you just wanna take a paring knife, a spoon, whatever you have, get right underneath this membrane right here, just kinda lift. And it will slowly come off. And then what I do is I just take my fingers and just kind of like work along the end. And you want to try to get as much of it off as you possibly can. Now it's time to season it. But if you remember, I said I used olive oil. If you take the olive oil and you generously put it on the ribs, secret, secret, the seasoning sticks better. So yeah, get that a good old, and then you want to rub it down real good. Okay, so we're going to flip them over, and we're going to oil the other side. Okay, now it's time to season them. The best part. So here's our seasoning we made earlier, if you recall. Okay. Take it and just generously put it on there. Okay, I'm gonna rub it in there real good. You wanna get every nook and cranny on ribs. Overnight it will soak through and you will thank me later. Okay, we're gonna flip them over and we're gonna do the other side. Don't be scared of seasoning, you guys. Don't. 
like I said, mess around with the different types of seasonings. So you can have it spicy. I mean, you could even, and I have done this, you can even add a little bit of cinnamon to the seasoning. I know you might think cinnamon, really, but don't knock it till you try it. So due to the weather, we will be smoking our ribs in the garage today. But first, we take a look at the ribs that we've been wearing in the most. I'm so excited, you guys! Oh yeah, buddy! Don't those look good? Oh, they smell so good. They smell amazing. So, let's go out. Right here is our water line of where we have to put the water to. Okay, next we have to fill up our wood hopper. Today I am using apple and mesquite chips. You're probably seeing the cherry chips as well and you're going, well, what are those for? I use those to finish off the ribs during the last hour. So you just want to fill it up till it's level. So we should be good. Okay, looks good. Let's get the smoker started. All right, as you can see, it says 225. That is the temperature that we want to smoke at today. Okay, let's go put the ribs in the smoker, y'all. What I mean by heavy smoke is that we're going to add wood chips every 45 minutes. Okay, it's been three hours, so now we're going to take the ribs out and prep them for phase two. Ooh, she's hot, but it smells good. Oh, those smell amazing. Right? Pretty excited. Some people think they're done at this stage. I mean, right? Not, Not close. <laughs> oh, scoot them back. There you go. Yeah, another. Next one. Okay. Let's take these inside and show you guys phase two. Okay. Now we take the ribs and we make a pillow for them. This is very, very crucial. Make sure you have very heavy duty foil, as I mentioned earlier. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to pour some apple juice on the ribs to rehydrate the meat. You do want something sweet. I do recommend using apple juice. next rack and then we'll put them back in the smoker. Okay, now that these are all wrapped and basted in apple juice, they can go back in the smoker for two more hours. Slide them on in there. There you go. Just don't break the aluminum. Stage. <laughs> if smell vision was a thing, 
Right? <laughs> Alright, let me get this for you, baby. Go ahead. Got it. Let's go baste them with some barbecue sauce. Okay, we're gonna take them out of the aluminum foil now and baste them with barbecue sauce. You can use any type of barbecue sauce you wish. I am using a honey barbecue sauce. Oh, they smell so good, you guys. Slather it all on there. Now they're basted. We are going to move them back on to the cookie sheet. Just like that. I don't know if you guys can see these, but they look amazing. And then they go back into the smoker for one hour. Okay guys, so we're gonna put the ribs back in the smoker for the final hour and load up the wood hopper with cherry chips. Grab that please. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This is always the most difficult part is trying to get them from the cookie sheet to the wrap because you do not want them in foil at this point. Okay, now we're gonna load the wood hopper with the cherry chips. Okay guys, they're all done. Let's take them out. Ooh, mama. <laughs> Let me turn the power off here. Oh my oh, God. Good. All right, honey. Oh. Take them out, let's see what you got there. You wanna get there real quick? Yeah. Be careful, they're gonna be oh, soft. I know. All right, there you go, go ahead. There's one. Let's take them inside and cut into them. Okay, let's cut into these and see what they look like. Oh, like butter. Gosh, you guys, I can't. Oh, oh, look at it. Did you just see that? It fell off the bone. Look at it. Oh, mm -mm. Okay, sorry y'all, but it's time to eat. So I'll let you know how they taste. Okay, let's go see how everybody's enjoying the ribs, you guys. Okay, guys, so what's the verdict? Oh my God, good. It is almost gone. Chef. It is almost gone. So, what do you think of that? Okay, well there you go guys. Everybody seems to be enjoying the ribs. So, if you like this video, please hit that like, the subscribe, and drop a comment. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!